Okay, in this segment of Alex College Algebra, we will be looking at the basic properties of logarithms. And so then they give us some problems here which just look horrible. So let's go over here for a minute and take a look at our notes. Now, first of all, remember, a logarithm is an exponent. And so any rules that we have about exponents are going to somehow apply to logarithms, but let's review for a little bit. Now you had this clear back in your most basic algebra class that if you are multiplying numbers together which have the same base, what you really do is you add their powers. So in order to multiply, you add. Okay. Now here's the next rule. Whenever you're dividing two numbers with the same base, what you do there is you keep the base and you subtract the powers. So a to the m divided by a to the n is a to the m minus n. And another rule that often comes up is what we call the power to a power rule. If you're taking a particular number to a power and then raising the entire thing to the power, we multiply the exponents and we have a to the m times n. Now it really should not be a surprise to you that since logarithms are exponents, they are going to have rules that are very similar to these. So let's take a look at them. And here they are. So let's go through talk about them. Now here we have the logarithm of x times y. Okay, what we have here are two numbers which are multiplied together. Now remember, when you multiply numbers, you add their powers. You add their exponents. Well, if you think about this, the logarithm to the base a of x is an exponent because that's what a logarithm is. And the logarithm to the base a of y, that is another exponent. And so when you multiply numbers, you add their exponents, you add their logarithms. So the first basic rule simply says when you multiply, add the powers. The second rule, notice the logarithm to the base a of the quotient x divided by y would be the logarithm to the base a of x minus the log to the base a of y because remember when you divide numbers what you end up doing is to subtract their logarithms or you subtract their exponents and of course since logarithms and exponents are the same thing you do in fact subtract their logarithms. This last one is tricky but it's basically nothing but the power to a power rule log to the base a of x to the n power. Well remember here the log to the base a of x that's an exponent because that's what a logarithm is. This n is already an exponent and so when you raise a power to a power, let's go back up here and look at that power rule, when you raise a power to a power you multiply the exponents so n already is an exponent and the logarithm to the base a of x is an exponent so we're gonna multiply them. But in everyday practical use, this is very important because it allows us to grab this exponent here and pull it down in front. This rule here has tremendous applications as we will see back in the problem. So let's go over to Alex and see what it is they want us to do. Well, as we get here, right away, notice the first thing that's happening is that we're adding two logarithms together. Basically what we're doing here is we are taking this first rule but they're giving us the right hand side of it. Notice here that we have two logarithms which are added together. So immediately we want to give the answer as this left hand side which is one logarithm of those two numbers multiplied together. So back over here then we look at this and we say oh look here the two numbers that we have are 9 and 11 so we're going to multiply them together. 11 times 9 is 99. Okay. Let's move on to the second one. Now down here notice right away we are subtracting logarithms. We're subtracting logarithms. So back to our notes and we see here that when you subtract logarithms what you're really doing is dividing. Okay, When sub logarithms are subtracted we're dividing those numbers. So back over here we notice here that we're going to have we got the answer 9 fifths that's 9 divided by 5 so that means this number here must be 9 because we're subtracting those logarithms which means we're dividing the numbers. Okay, So we look over here and we say alright what about this last one? Well, we're going to have logarithm to uh, the base 3 of 1 8th 
is going to be, now this one might take a little bit more work, so let's write a step or two on this particular problem. Okay, so what I've done here is to take the problem and write it down. We're going to have log to the base 3 of 1 8th, and of course over here we have negative 3 times the log to the base 3 of some unknown number. Well, what I'm going to do here first of all is to write this 1 8th. I'll write that as 2 to the negative third, because remember 2 raised to the third power is 8, but the negative sign means the reciprocal of that, so that's going to be 1 eighth. Now by writing it this way, notice how we have matched this left hand side right here, because we have the logarithm to the base of a, in this case base of 3, of some number 2 raised to a power n, and notice here where that n goes, that n comes out in front, so this negative 3 goes out in front. Notice that that's where they've put it here. And so if we do that, we're simply going to have log to the base a of x. And in our case, then that x must be 2. That must be 2 right there. So that's negative 3 log to the base 3 of 2. And so let's go back to Alex and plug that in and see that that is what we want to do. Okay, that was tricky. Would you like to see one more of those? Let's do one more. Okay, first of all, this one's pretty easy. Notice when you're adding logarithms, what you're really doing is multiplying the numbers. So 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, down here, whenever you're subtracting logarithms, what you're really doing is dividing those numbers. Notice here we've got 8 divided by 3, so this must be the 3 that we're dividing by. And as we get over here, notice that we have um, 2 log to the base 9 of 2. Notice here, once again, this is the trickier one, so let's go back here and take a look at our notes for just a second. What they're doing here is they're playing with this third rule. Keep in mind here that when you have a number raised to a power, you take the logarithm of that number. This power comes down front. This n comes clear out in front here. So what they're doing on this one is they've already put this number out in front, so what we need to do is put it back up here. So what we're going to do is put this number right back up where it came from, and of course if we do, this becomes 2 squared, and 2 squared is four. And so let's check that. This is basic properties of logarithms in Alex College Algebra.